Hello viewers, this is Ilyas Soft Software Company and I am your instructor Mohammed Ilyas. And today we do we are creating a demo of auto type table generator which is already uploaded uh, on our YouTube channel auto time table generator uh, time table auto time table generator in C sharp. The remaining videos will be uploaded soon and also the English versions of this application is coming. This is the Urdu and the coming one is the in English. So let's get started. Now this is the applications. So once you run the applications. So once you load the open your application then click on the start buttons. So once the application is run successfully after that you need to add some uh, programs sessions subjects lectures rooms labs semesters days and so on so let's get started and discuss one by one these modules so the first one is a programs the program is a bscs bsit bsse or ms cs means ms and computer science and then click the status of this program is active and now click so your program will be added successfully so the mscs is added successfully so now phd test cs means phd in computer science so there's also active if you want to deactivate the program then right click edit and change the status and click on the update so this program is deactivated it's this the the uh, this program uh, timetable will be not generated and the uh, only the active programs timetable will be generated so this is the program this is the form where you add the your programs so i am closing this form the second one is a sessions here you add the sessions like you know, means your session is start from 2015 uh, to 2016 uh, means 2015 to 2019 so now i am registered here is the 2000 19 to 2000 uh, sorry 2015 to 2019 means this is the four year program and this is the sessions which is start from 2015 and into end on uh, 2019 and i am here the session status is active so once i click here the session is added successfully if you want to deactivate your status so then right click here then edit and deactivate the status of your sessions okay so this form is used for to register edit and update your sessions only the active sessions timetable will be generated so i am closing this form the next is subjects here you register all the subjects and your any department means all the subjects of computer science all the subjects of biotechnology all the subjects of um agriculture and so on so here you add all the subjects and also here you have marked the subject as a critical and non critical and also enter their credit credit hours so here i am entering here uh, uh, entering is the enter here the subject name subject title sorry there is the subject title here is the select their type it's practical subject or non-practical it means it's this subject is in lab or in a room so non-practical is going to be in room and the practical is to be in lab and here is the credit hour one two or three means weekly classes of this subject is three one two three or four and this is the status of subject so now click on the save button the subject will be registered here so if you want to deactivate the subject now click here and deactivate your subject so the the deactive subjects will be not marked in the timetables only the active subject timetable will be generated so i'm closing this form this subject form is for your subject registration then i'm going to the lecturers a new lecturer here you add your teachers your lecturers doctors and all the teachers and your new universities <coughs> And your schools so here you add your uh, teachers their names contact numbers 
and their status. Only the active teachers will be marked and a timetable. Only the active teacher timetable will be generated. So this is the form for the lecture registrations means for teachers, doctors and whatever. So the lecture, this is this form is for a lecture registration if you want to deactive then click here and deactive the uh, teachers lecturers this option is for add rooms here add your rooms room one room two room three room four may <clears throat> all the rooms is registered in this form if you want to active these rooms edit here and active the room and then update so the room will be active so only the active rooms timetable will be generators i'm here to active the room eight and also here you can specify the capacity of the rooms means the room capacity 60 70 60 40 um, 100 100 100 so this is used for the the form is for the room registrations so here enter the room title here the capacity and also here uh, the room status so i am closing this form this form is using for the room registration this for the labs so here enter the lab numbers it's lab 1 lab 2 lab 3 lab 4 only the active lab timetable will be generated and this is this is these are the active and these are deactive so here you and registered the labs here i am registered the lab 6 and the capacity is a 70 and now i mark is at active status so this lab is an active okay so i'm closing this form this form is using for the lab registrations this is the semesters here you add your semester semester one two three four five six here add your semester titles how many semester you take and one programs so you enter uh, so enter here the all semesters titles and then here is the add semesters to the sessions here but before that you you need to first assign semesters to programs okay so here you assign the semesters to program so this is the sessions and this is the phd and here i am selecting the first semester and is the capacity means in this uh, semester how many students so i am here enter the 40 students in this and then i am click on the save button so here you see the those are solar to 2016 to 2020 the phd means phd in computer science first semester's capacity is 40 is these are the current students here <coughs> the this capacity mark it is the current students and the status is active so only the active semesters timetable will be generated so here mark it says a deactive so this is the deactive so only the active uh, semesters timetable will be generated so this form is used for assign semesters to programs means how many semester and program bs is a eight semester so here see here the bs is eight semester the bs it is also the eight semester the bs computer science bs software engineering is also the eight semester the bs cs is also the eight semester okay so these are the so here you and registered the semesters and programs here i'm closing this so now i'm closing this form and this is the subjects here you assign the subjects to the programs means here select the uh, semesters and here it, how many uh, subjects and uh, one semester so here the sum, uh, uh, assign uh, subjects to semesters mean first semester here you see one two three four five these are the five subjects in this semester and third semester we have a one two three four five six 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 subjects fifth semester we have one two three four five these and so on <clears throat> so here you can register subjects and your uh, and you and uh, assign subjects to semesters and then add, add session uh, add uh, semester sessions if the, the students are above from the limited capacity then divide the semesters 
in a session means if, uh, and one class means and uh, and one semester's FUA capacity is 20 uh, means 40 and the students is uh, get uh, 70 students get uh, um, admissions in a semester one so then divide these students into a uh, two sessions session a is a 40 and session b is a 30 so here you can create a session inside in a semesters so select the semesters from BA, CS, BSIT and whatever okay and then create inside this semester and uh, session so our uh, and also enter the capacity of your sections so here you create the section inside any semester that another option is a day these are the day which is active the active day is mark has these are the active day means these uh, on these days only taking a class these two are holidays so holiday day mark has a deactive and the active day is mark has a these are uh, non holiday days so only the mark date timetable will be generated so finally once all these options you have done then right then click it and click on the auto generated timetable and then select the timetable start date and end date here i am selecting the timetable that is from 1st november to 2 november december and then january end i am creating here the timetable for 3 months and click or i am clicking here on the auto uh, generated timetable so once I am click the timetable created successfully. So now I am going to here and now check the timetable. So here you can get uh, uh, three options. First for print all timetable. So once you click here, you can get all the timetables. <clears throat> here is one, two, three, four, and five. Here is we have an active of five semesters. Okay, these the uh, the here we have a. Uh, five timetable is generated these are the all timetables for seven semester bs third semester timetable bs first semester timetables so these are timetables for semester wise here we this, this is the semester wise timetable this is the teacher wise timetable so here you get the dr amjit timetable here you get the dr aslam timetable then you get the Dr. Wazir Khan timetable. Here you get and and then Mr. Faizan timetable. So this is the this is the, this one is for uh, semester wise timetable. This is for teacher wise timetable and the, this option is used for day wise timetable. Means the Friday timetable is this, the Monday timetable is this, the Thursday timetable is this, the Tuesday timetable is this, the Wednesday timetable is this. So here you see the Wednesday timetable, <coughs> the Thursday, the Friday. Okay, so only the act your days timetable will be generated. And this is the day time slot. Means here you can assign the time slots. Means this from 11 to 12:30. So here you see here the mm, th th I'm checking the Thursday, the Thursday. So on Thursday 11 to 12:30. So here you see the Thursday 11 to 12.30, here see. So here you can assign the time slot to each and every day, okay. So start from this and end from this. But here <coughs> you need to the university start time and university end time. Select here the means your university start from 8 and end on 4 or 5 and whatever. And then select the slots, means <coughs> these are the 4 hours or 8 hours in universities but you can divide it into nine slots so it will automatically divide it into these slots okay so here you can create the time slot inside an a day and these are the timetables so this is the short demo of the auto timetable generators so videos are present on our youtube channel of this auto timetable generators 
so subscribe like shares my videos and thanks for watching